Families across Detroit were sadly rocked by violence this Christmas, and in one instance, a mother and her daughter were both shot and killed. Fox 2's Camille Amiri has been following this tragedy. She brings us the latest. Camille. Yeah, Hillary, we're in the 18,000 block of Prevost off a of seven mile on Detroit's west side where this tragedy took place yesterday. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look. My photographer, Howard, going to zoom in. So this is right in front of the house, this makeshift memorial that family members have started. You can see candles lit. The family absolutely devastated, but gracious enough to talk to us because they want everyone at home to know more about their loved ones. Christmas forever changed. It would never, never be, be the same. same. Never. It would never be the same without my mama. It would never be the same without my mama and Diana. Elaine Pfizer and her 13 year old daughter, Diana, shot and killed Christmas morning. Their bodies discovered by family members hours later. She was the most kind and hurtful person in the world. And you know how people don't know their purpose on earth. She definitely had her purpose. Elaine's purpose was to take care of her adopted daughter. And she, oh, she just wanted to take care of Diana, make sure nobody ever hurt her again. Severely physically abused as an infant prior to the adoption, Diana was developmentally disabled. But mom Elaine was determined that her adopted daughter would have a good life. My mom always said she gonna walk, you know, and Diana started walking, got out of her wheelchair, walking, hopping around, dancing. She loved music. They listened to gospel music all day. On Christmas night, Detroit police named Elaine's husband, Dwayne McDonald, as a person of interest in the double murder. Very tragic, horrible situation on Christmas. Uh, a baby or a 13 year old baby to me. She didn't deserve it and he know it too. She took care of him as well. Yes, she took care of him as well. He's on oxygen. She made sure he, he ate and was sleeping good and had everything that he needed to be comfortable. So of course, police still desperately searching for Dwayne McDonald. Family members tell me that he is on oxygen, so he has to have an oxygen machine with him and tanks at all time. That is something that everyone can definitely look out for. If they see anybody who looks like this person who they think may be Dwayne McDonald, you are asked to call 911 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. He is considered armed and dangerous. Meanwhile, the family has set up a link, a GoFundMe page for funeral expenses. Of course, we are posting that on our website, fox2detroit.com. On Detroit's west side, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News.